Hi everyone, it's Annie from 406 Junk Journals. I am bringing you a haul today. Um, my mom and I went a few days ago to a little shop about oh, 15 or 20 miles from our town. And um, there's not, I live in Billings, Montana, and there's not a lot around here. There's a few thrift stores and um, not too many, not too much shopping. There's a Michaels and a Joann's, uh, and like I said, maybe maybe half a dozen thrift stores in town. And then the next town is 10 miles away, and then the next town after that is 15 miles away. So we went to a, a small town, a bit, uh, I think it's east of us, and it's really my mom loves it because it's a boutique and it has nice clothes. Uh, so anyway, she wanted to go there and I said, well, yeah, we can go and I'm not going to buy anything. But look at all the stuff I found. <laughs> um, it's a boutique and I forgot they have kind of a, a antique. So it's a it's two. It's like four rooms and the boutique is in one room and then they have jewelry in another room and they have two rooms of antiques or old finds, antiques or vintage, you know, thrift store like things. So this is what I got. Let's, let's look at it. First, um, I got this cute, cute, definitely old, um, vintage, uh, pin cushion with pins in it. So I'm sure they'll rest and it's so cute. So I'm going to, going to stand up and make sure you can see it make sure I'm in frame. Um, it's a blue like silk underneath the green crochet and same on the other side. There's another pin. Um, I kind of like to have them all on the same side <laughs> and never squeeze to make sure that there are pins in it or not pins in it. So this was a dollar which is pretty fantastic, right? And it will go with my collection of pin cushions that I have made, which I'm just going to show you briefly because um, I want to do another video on it. So this will be kind of a teaser. So these are new that, and I have made them. Um, and they all, I think they all have beans, some kind of weighted thing in the bottom and then uh, padding in the top. And I did all the stitching. And then here's another one. Uh, I'm going to give you an idea of how big they are. Let's see. Let me grab a ruler. I know it's not really about this, but just very quickly. Eh. So this one's almost six inches across. The yellow one was, the yellow one was about five inches. So again, it has the beans in the bottom and padding in the top so that you can stick your pins in. And here's a cute little chicken with just made with squares and felt. And this was a kit. Um, I, the fabric must have been in it and the threads and the pattern to cut the shapes so and I love lavender so I yeah it was hard to resist oh yeah look I even I even wrote on it July 2008 Ann Fisher okay and then this one um was my mom's and there were a lot of pins in it and I don't know where this came from I want to say my grandmother made it but it's possible that she did not anyway there's it's like cruel stitching um, and this one does not have any beans in it. It's just padding, and there's like no padding in this area. So I kind of want to, I don't know. I don't want to take it apart because it looks like it would be very difficult to get it back together again. Anyway, I'll just keep it in my collection. Um, and the reason that I, want, I like things like that is because a long time ago I made this, which is a, a Huseth. Um, it's, I'm just 
turn it just for a second. Um, it is, hussif is an old English word for housewife. And this is what housewives used to use to mend their clothes and things. And I just made this out of fat quarters, uh, two fat quarters, I think. And I'll show you the inside. This, it's plain on the outside. I picked a fabric that wouldn't need to <clears throat> have a lot of decoration. Because I just, I really wanted it to take it to work every day. And I'm going to zoom you out so you can see a bit. So, just a quick tour. Uh, pin cushion, and then I have pins in here in this pocket. So there are pockets on both sides, and they are, I mean, you can put things in either side. These are both things that I can take out um, and, and just take that if I want to. Um, lots of pins there. Bobbins, of course, for sewing. This is, a, I crocheted this little case. Can you see it? I crocheted this little case to put my um, thimble in. And anyway, just useful items. And I, I actually did take this with me every single day to work when I worked in an office. And um, I would use it at lunch every single day. I would, I'd eat a brief lunch and then I would sew. Slow stitch, we call it now, right? Anyway, so that's my brief collection of, you know, sewing stuff. But I, I will do a longer video on that eventually because I have something else in mind. Okay, so back to the haul. So this goes with my collection of pin cushions. Yay! Um, these are little, um, they're like ceramic numbers. And I think they were 50 cents each. I think that's right. And I bought all the ones that they had. And then when I got home, I unwrapped them from, they were wrapped like this. I unwrapped them and put them on pins because I had previously found a number of them um, at another store in town. And I really like these. I think I'm going to use them on spines of journals. I think they're so cute. And I want to, I have something in mind to make uh, something similar to this. Maybe not, you can see that they're concave. Maybe not exactly like this, but kind of French numbers. I think that um, the Graphics Fairy has a tutorial on something like this, and I saw that quite a while ago, and I want to adapt it. So anyway, there's, there's those. And then I don't remember what's in here, so let's open it up. Okay. Oh, yes, a bunch of old, um, nice pins. They're clearly old. And they came like this, and I, how much were these? 50 cents each, yeah. So, um, and I bought everything in that little container, so I have a lot of vintage, um, small safety pins. And then I found this book for a dollar, and I love birds, so here we are with this gorgeous book that I first have to read, and then I will figure out what I'm going to do with it. Oh yes, and this was in there. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was separate. Um, but they just put it in there for safekeeping. That's what it was. So this old picture of people sitting at a, I don't know, on some steps at a railway station maybe? I don't know. So there's the book. And then we get into the um, fabrics or laces and things. So this piece of crochet was going to be a tablecloth or a table runner or something and you can see that it didn't get put together so I think it'll be easy to take these apart and use them as pockets or tucks or something in a junk journal or even leave these three together and put them along the spine of a junk journal so there's that love crochet and then there were um, there was a room of just like old dishes and lace and things like that. So this this spool of lace was three dollars. Oh, there's two over there. 
easier to see the pattern if I did that. Cute, huh? And there's a good amount of lace on here. I'm not unhappy with that. This one looks brand new. I'm like never taken out of the package. And it was $3. And does it say? Oh, three yards. So that's good. Um, I'm excited about that. There was not very much of this. Oh, and it's two pieces pinned together. Let's just look at that real quick. And that was a dollar. Several pieces pinned together. So that's cute. Um, and these are just like remnants. Very cute. Oh, that's the same motif. And then this lovely thing is crochet and it should have gone I think on a pillowcase maybe because it's a circle it is joined joined right here I think anyway um, I could see that being cut up and used in a junk journal I think I will wash it though just to see if these darker stains come out I don't know let me know in the comments if I shouldn't wash it this one was three dollars wow I guess because people look at it and they go who's gonna put that on a pillowcase <coughs> excuse me it's early and I haven't had any enough water yet this morning uh, here's another three yards I think is this the same yep these are the same pattern so good on that here's four dollars for these doilies um, which are you know, kind of stained, and have they have tatting around the edges, which is, I tried to learn to tat, and I was not able to do it. I, I tried to learn from, like, a book, not my grandmother, who knew how to tat. I wasn't interested when she was alive, so she did teach me to crochet, but um, not tat. So anyway, they have a P initial on all four of them and there are four for four dollars so that's pretty cool and then there's this piece of uh, I guess maybe it was a I don't know the end of a dresser scarf or something or the end of was to put on the end of a dresser or table and it was two dollars but I really thought that it could be the cover of a junk journal, kind of like that, or kind of like that. So it will be something like that. And then I think this is the last item. These two old tins, which I started unwrapping and then stopped. And so one is cold tablets and the other is laxative. And they were $2 each. Um, $2. And then this one wasn't marked, and she said, oh, that'll be $2, too. And I said, well, how about $1? And she said, no, it's $2. But I got um, I got such good deals on the other things that I thought, well, $2 for that's fine. And, oh, my, I didn't even open these in the store. Mm. So, oh, good, there's, there's nothing in there. Phew! <laughs> I, uh, that's so funny. Quinine bromide laxative compound cold ta tablets. I guess you need a laxative if you have a cold. That's too funny. Okay, well, I'm glad there's nothing in there to dispose of. Oh, oh, look. Didn't open this in the store, but it, can you see it? It's supposed to be $4. I wanted it for $1, and she said, no, two. Next time, get a large box. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so anyway, aren't they cute? I have no idea what I'm going to put in these. No idea. Certainly not laxatives, but I'll put something in there and it'll be fun. So anyway, that's my haul. Thanks for joining me today and um, let me know what you think. Do you have anything like this? Cold tablets or laxative? <laughs> or, or, the, or the fun... Uh, textiles. Anyway, let me know. Thanks for joining me. Bye.